Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Skies. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a pretty amazing day. Uh, I'm I'm sick. My voice is like gone completely. Uh, it's terrible. Like I my my throat is just killing me right now. Um, but we have things to do. The show must go on, as the saying goes. Um, so uh, between episodes, I decided to swap out that uh, that wireless thingy that was uh, bringing fuel up to our uh, reactor up there. I just swapped it out for a real simple ender chest setup. Um, the wireless thing is cool, but it, it just... It, the power drain was a lot more than I expected for a relatively short distance. Um, so I canceled that. I also uh, spent some time with the fluid cows, and we now have about a thousand or more of all of the different... Um, mystical agriculture ingots. So we're going to make use of those today. What I'd like to do today is I would like to make uh, the wyvern armor, I think. Uh, and I would also maybe like to do some other stuff too. But let's, uh, let's start with the wyvern armor. So um, basically to make this armor, there's this whole big crafting chain. You got to go all the way down and it's like, ah... So, we gotta get, uh, some leather here. Let's go... like so. And we'll make a helmet. And pants. And a chest plate. And... boots. And that's kind of the default thing, right? So then, if you want to upgrade that... To the next one, you gotta go and you gotta make iron bars. So, uh, ooh, or do you have to do stone? Yeah, you gotta do stone first. Okay. So, th there's this whole big giant crafting process where you go leather, and then you go up to stone, and then from there you go up to chainmail, from chainmail you go up to gold, from gold uh, you go up to iron. Iron goes up to diamond, diamond goes up to inferium, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on. So, um, I'm going to get a bunch of this stuff crafted up. We should have all the resources we need. There's these inferium cores. We're going to need uh, one of the different cores for each of the different pieces of armor. Um, but they're all fairly doable, and I've got all those uh, ingots and things from our... Um, fluid cows, so it should be pretty doable. And then once we finally get the Supremium armor, A, that will complete a quest, but B, that's what you use to actually make the uh, carbon helm, or the carbon armor. And then the carbon armor, you combine it with these emerald carbon rods to make emerald infused carbon, and then the emerald infused carbon is what actually gets turned into the wyvern armor. Or maybe it's wyvern. But either way, I've got some crafting to do. I'll be back. All right, guys. I am back, and I have finished going down the crafting rabbit hole. I now have the infused carbon armor. Um, now, in order to upgrade that to the wyvern armor, or the wyvern armor, whatever you want to, uh, whatever you want to call it, we need to do fusion crafting with draconium. All of this is pretty easy stuff. However. Uh, you see here it says Tier Wyvern, so basically that means that we need to upgrade all of our basic crafting injectors up to Wyvern crafting injectors. And then, for something else that I want to do later in the episode, I might as well upgrade them to... Ooh, those require a dragon egg. Ah, uh, okay. Well... <laughs> so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dragon eggs. Ah, okay. Well, that's doable. Uh, <laughs> that means I gotta fight the end dragon uh, several times the ender dragon several times but i can do that for now why don't we just upgrade to the wyvern one i was hoping if you hadn't 
figured it out from my little JEI search there. I was hoping to make the adder, the uh, the energy condenser Mark One today, maybe even the Mark Two. I mean, it's not that bad. It's dark matter, red matter, and some other stuff that you can get pretty easily. This one's even more simple: dark matter, red matter, piece of cake. However, we need draconic tier fusion crafting uh, injectors to do that. And each of those draconic tier fusion injectors requires a dragon egg. So that means, and right now, the, the only way that I have to farm dragon eggs is actually killing the ender dragon. Uh, because yes, they have an EMC value, but I can't do anything with EMC values until I get this first energy condenser. So, yeah, and even then, I mean, it, that's going to be one thing. So we'll have to kind of work towards that. I, I mean, I do have the resources to respawn and kill the dragon ten times. It is doable. Do I really want to right now? Eh, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be that bad, actually. Uh, it would take some time, but it wouldn't be that terrible. For now, though, the first step is definitely to upgrade these to the uh, wyvern tier, and from there, uh, if we look at fusion crafting, uh, we can go ahead and make the wyvern armor. This is this wyvern tier stuff, all very doable. Wyvern cores, you know, I mean, it, it's it's just stuff. Like we we can totally do this. So let me get to it. I'm gonna craft up. Um, I might as well convert all ten of these over to the wyvern tier because we're gonna eventually want to craft uh, convert all ten over to the. Uh, the draconic tier. It's gonna need to happen. Uh, so let me get to it. Let me get to the grind. I'll be back. Check it out. This is some pretty sweet looking armor. We've got the wyvern armor. Uh, so we're good to go. I did go ahead and upgrade all of the crafting injectors to the wyvern level as well. I also went ahead and made this wyvern flux capacitor, partly because it was from a quest and partly because basically it's a battery that will recharge my items. So I have a couple of these different quests that we've now completed in Draconic Evolution. Uh, and I think what I want to do is I do want to go to the end and kill the Ender Dragon 40, uh, 10 times, <laughs> which is a little ridiculous. Uh, but before I do that, let's go ahead and open these loot chests. Blacker Lotus, Guardian Charm, Charm, Junk junk across the board. I don't need any of that stuff. Ah, that's all right, though. So I'm going to take my new fancy armor. I did also put uh, an infinity arrowhead on this arrow, and uh, now it should do even more damage. I'm curious to see if it's actually possible for me to one shot the ender dragon. It is conceivable. Uh, there is also this guy, the Ender Dragon Death Muffler, uh, which will basically make this, uh, make the dragon much quieter, so all the other people on the server, right now I'm the only one, uh, but that way all the other people on the server don't have to hear you kill the Ender Dragon. Uh, however, it takes a dragon egg, so I think I'm gonna hold off on that for the moment, and I'll do it eventually once we actually, like, uh, you know, get, um, like, dragon eggs galore by mass producing them using EMC. But I do want to see if I can one shot the dragon here. So we'll fight the first one together. And then after that, we will, uh, oh, he's so loud. We'll fight the first one together. And after that, I'll fight the other ones. Yeah, still can't one shot the dragon, even with my super infinity bow. I can kill him much faster, though, than uh, he can heal. So it's all good. And I definitely want this stuff. Now he died over here. So I'm not sure where this dragon heart is gonna appear. There's another ender dragon egg. I want that dragon heart for sure. Oh, there we go. It just appears in your inventory, I guess. Or maybe I was close enough. Either way, We'll grab one Ender Dragon Egg, the first of ten. All right, guys, I am back. I have just finished killing the Ender Dragon ten times, so we now have a total of 11 Dragon Eggs because I had one in my system 
uh, before in my ME system. Uh, so I think the next thing that I want to do is I want to upgrade all of these fusion crafting injectors up to draconic crafting injectors. And then uh, that's the highest level other than chaotic, which is like way down the road. Uh, we're not even close to ready for actual chaotic stuff. Um, but draconic fusion injectors, uh, that's, that's the next thing. So each one of these is going to take a wyver uh, two wyvern cores, four nether stars, a dragon egg, and an awakened draconium block. Um, I, I, I have all of that now, so we should be good. Let me get to it and I'll be back. All right, guys, I am back. I've got all of these, uh, fusion crafting injectors upgraded to the draconic level and I think I am ready to make the, uh, the energy condenser. Uh, we are going to have to make some alchemical chests and stuff first. Ooh, this is going to be a little trickier than I thought. Well, maybe not. So really the only thing that's going to be a problem is this ludicrite. How do I make ludicrite? Okay. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. How... How do you get ludicrite dust? Okay, th th this doesn't tell me the things. <laughs> um... Hmm. Well... Oh, here we go, ludicrite blocks. So, to make a ludicrite block, I need iridium, grains of the end... Okay, that's actually not that bad. This is totally doable. And the rest of this is like easy mode, right? So uh, if we look at the alchemical chest, that, oh, what is this? Oh, manulin, okay, yeah, piece of cake. Um, That one I can make right now, we'll just toss that in there. Manulin I have, um, I have uh, a thing for, uh, a fluid cow, so we can get that very easily. And then Ludicrite is going to be a little trickier. Brains of the End is an ender crystal that has been... Is it just sag mill? Yeah, just in a sag mill. Okay, that's easy. And then we also need Iridium Blocks and Blutonium. And I have... And Blutonium is just Cyanite, which I have a ton of thanks to my reactor. So we can just go and make like a stack of that, no problem. Yeah, 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 this is totally doable. So let me go ahead and get the uh, the stuff made for um, the alchemical chest, and I'll be back. Okay, I should have everything now to make the alchemical chests, and I'm going to make two of them right off the bat, and then that will actually uh, complete a quest for me. So we're actually knocking out like all sorts of stuff here. We've got the draconic chest done. Uh, if we come down here to project E, we're going to get this one done. Uh, and we'll have the energy condenser done here pretty soon as well. Were there any other ones? Ah, and plutonium. Um, claim. How much? I just need one ludicrite block. Can I make? Well, I can't. I wish I'd done... Uh, I don't suppose it's going to give me credit for that. Now, that's all right. I'll make another one later. Not a big deal. Uh, okay, so we've got now our alchemical chest. So let's toss those in here. And then we'll toss... Uh, let's see. We need... Four... And four, I think it is? Like so. Right? And then... We need the crystal and the obsidian. And that should... Yeah, there we go. So that's going to make us the energy condenser mark one. Which is uh, going to allow us to do stuff with Project E before we actually get a transmutation tablet. Which I'm very happy about. Also, those loot chest rewards were utter garbage um <laughs> that's all right though so then we'll make a second one now here's the plan uh what i want to do is the, the way that this thing works you put an item in here right and this is the item that you're trying to duplicate 
and then anything that you put in here will kind of work towards creating another one of those items. So we can put uh, cobble in here or, or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and we can make more of these guys. Uh, so I think what I want to do, we could build up kind of a loop using um, blaze rods. Let's see. I'm trying to think maybe, I mean, we could go, we could create blaze rods, export the blaze rod, but then, they, I mean, we're just going to end up with all this extra. Um, maybe the best way to do it is like this, just as a kind of a temporary thing, because I just need a few more dragon eggs. Because the thing is, if we look at dragon eggs, they're used for crafting a few things, the ender dragon death muffler, some of these higher tier solar panels, and these growth crystal tier threes as well. Um, and then, I mean, I'd like to get some more awakened draconium and stuff going as well. Uh, some of these different things, I mean, actually, kind of looking at the, oh, but here's, here's what we need the, the dragon eggs for, is all this draconic evolution stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, basically, all of these are gonna require it. All of those different recipes. The advanced dislocator, I'll probably want to make one of those as well. Yeah, we're gonna want a few more dragon eggs for sure. So, why don't we do this? Let's go cobblestone generator. And let's make, uh, I need some lava buckets. I need some more buckets. <laughs> let's just make a stack of buckets. There we go. And then we'll go, uh, how many do I have in there? I have six lava buckets and one water bucket. Okay. So let's, let's do this. Let's go one, two, three. And then we'll go water buckets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like so. And then we'll go cobblestone generator. And we'll make nine of... Oh, you got to do the recipe one at a time. Ah, oh, that's a little annoying. But not the end of the world. We'll make... Nine of these guys. Like so. And then we'll upgrade all nine to iron. To diamond. To blaze. And then to emerald. There we go. So we now have nine of the emerald cobblestone generators. And we're just going to go... Uh, we'll just put it here for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? We'll just plop them down over here. This is fine. Um... That's going to bother me. <laughs> we'll put this over here. Okay. So now... Um... What do we want to use? I mean, I suppose we could use these item ducts. Like so. Right? And we can put our energy condenser here. And look at those... Look how quickly that fills up. And then we can do this... Except that is actually filling up faster than the chest is going through it. Okay, fine. That, that's okay. It's okay. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's grab a compacting drawer. Uh, compacting drawer. There we go. Let's make one of those and put that right here. And then what we'll do is we'll export... Um, hmm. how do we want to do this? I mean, we don't want that connection, so get, I should have a... Where's the crescent? Let's make one of these, crescent hammer. We want to get rid of that. There we go. So now this thing will start filling up. And then we can just grab like a regular old oh come on please item conduit with a speed upgrade like so we'll put that guy here we'll say insert we'll say extract always and that's sending double compressed cobblestone 
into here basically as fast as it possibly can and then right here we'll we'll do one of those so this thing is going to start filling up uh i really only want that to export the double compressed though so let's go basic item filter let's plop that down here we'll get rid of those give me one of these and there we go so it's only going to export the double compressed and that way this thing can keep up it's not like the ideal perfect solution uh we'll have a much better method of duplicating this stuff later we'll get into like power flowers and all that kind of stuff although i do have to say i'm looking at project d e. i seem to remember there's like an energy collector or something like that and i don't see it anywhere in jei so i wonder if that's been removed in this mod pack but maybe my memory of project d e. is a little bit off it has been a little while since i've played with it not like super long but it's been it's been a, a maybe like six months or a or something like that i don't know either way we're going to start building this up. This is going to duplicate dragon eggs for us, and we'll just get a bunch of dragon eggs, basically from all this free cobble. That's, that's essentially what's going to happen here, uh, and it should be good. So, yeah, good stuff. And it's basically exporting as fast as it possibly can, so, um, I mean, we're generating lots of EMC. These things generate, what is it, like one cobblestone per tick? So, let's see, cobblestone generator. Yeah, one cobblestone every tick. So essentially we're generating 20 cobblestone per second from each of these generators and we've got nine of them. So, you know, that's not bad. We're, we're getting there. The EMC is going up. It'll get to where it needs to go. It's gonna take a little time. This is not the best uh, way to generate EMC by any stretch, but it'll do for now. Uh, this is good enough for the time being. Uh, unfortunately, though, guys, I am out of time for this episode, so I am going to have to call this one right here. I don't know. I, I have no idea how long or short this actual video is, but um, there was a lot of very grindy stuff today. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff takes some time. So, guys, I'm going to call it here. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.